Physician assistants anaesthesia, or PAAs for short, play an important role in the delivery of safe and effective anaesthetic services to NHS patients across the United Kingdom. PAAs complete an in-hospital mentored postgraduate diploma from the University of Birmingham, which is recognised by the Royal College of Anaesthetists. PAAs are required to gain this diploma before they can start working within the anaesthetic team under the direction and supervision of a consultant anaesthetist. Since being introduced over 10 years ago, PAAs have been delivering general anaesthesia, procedural sedation and pre- and post-operative assessment in addition to being on the resuscitation teams. After further training, some PAAs perform pain-relieving nerve blocks and other monitoring procedures. Working with anaesthetists to deliver an holistic service, PAAs have the opportunity to interact with two-thirds of all hospital patients. As an established group of healthcare professionals, PAAs are integral to multi-professional teams, providing safe, accessible and high-quality care for patients. The PAAs provide a vital role in our department by providing continuity of care in a very dynamic service where the anaesthetists need to go and see patients and be supported in order to provide really good quality, safe care for patients. I believe so strongly in this that we've gone out and secured funding in order to train two more PAAs into this role to sustain the, the work needed. The PAAs bring um, lots of positives to the department. They're able to free up consultant time while they carry out assessments on patients and it increases the flow through the operating theatre. A large part of the PAA role is the preoperative assessment of patients and safe um, delivery of general anaesthesia. This can be in a two-to-one fashion where there's two PAs and a consultant supervising both or in a one-to-one -one fashion where there's a consultant and a PAA. And this can be in high turnover lists or complex cases. For me, the role of the PAA in theatre is to ensure efficiency of our theatre list. Um, it stops us having any downtime, it increases patients' continuity of care, and it just works really well, and the communication between us is excellent. The PAA programme is a 27-month course. It's a very well-structured uh, course that is led by consultant uh, anaesthetists. We're assigned two consultant anaesthetists as our tutors and throughout the course they provide us with tutorials and um, any relevant teaching and training and I feel that uh, uh, we have been supported very well throughout the course so far. There are two pathways to follow to become a PAA trainee and PA successfully. Uh, one would be with a science degree background and alternatively you could have a nursing degree or an for myself, I'm an ODP and I've come through that background. That has um, given me the opportunity to see how PAAs work and I've had many years working alongside them which has grown my own interest in this field. As an ODP, the role of the PAA is an exciting opportunity to um, progress your career in anaesthetics. Um, it comes with a natural progression of skill sets, so learning skills like cannulating and intubating patients. They're all skills that nurses and ODPs find really exciting to learn. And you're very much a valued member of the wider anaesthetic team. Well, as a PAA and within the role, we are able to go and perform an anaesthetic assessment for our hip fracture patients. Um, these patients come in quite frequently with m multiple medical issues and to be able to communicate any of those problems with the consultant anaesthetist at the time um, is, is, is a huge benefit. PAAs are required to undertake CPD activities such as study days, departmental meetings as well as annual appraisals. We have a managed voluntary register held by the Royal College of Anaesthetists. Well, within our department, in order for the PAAs to work under distant supervision, we have to make sure that they're confident and competent and happy to be able to work safely within the tasks that, you know, that we're asking them to do. I think it's really vital that they have mechanisms of support with a named consultant who they know is only going to be a couple of minutes away should a problem arise. Well, one of my roles is writing the rotor, and the PAAs are a key part to that because of their flexibility and because of their permanent status. They're here forever, not just for a few months. It's really worth training them in things that we know are going to be needed. We've been involved with the PAA programme since 2002. Our original remit was to explore alternative ways of service provision in the light of workforce crisis in the future. 
I think what we've shown quite convincingly is that we can instill uh, another member of the anaesthetic team that is very useful and I hope to roll this out further in the future.